bucks throughout the rest of the customer cars yeah. in the GT class soon. Now, now you'll notice that the right foot on the throttle stays on the floor on upshifts. He's backing off a little bit there as he goes down through this long, fast corner, but they're flat out again. And just tapping the brakes, make sure you're going to be there, and only using the clutch on a downshift. But watch, now he's going to go up the hill here. He's flat out. And listen to the engine RPM. Now you hear the engine RPM drop. All he did was just simply pull back on the gear shift. The electronics take care of stopping the engine from detonating, and it'll help you shift. Eventually, when they get this perfected, the gearbox will also be able to downshift without using the clutch. Right now, they're doing this to make sure it's going to last. Again, a little tap on the brakes is to make sure they're going to be right solid at the end of that straight. That's all that's for, but it's like a ballet. And, and Bill, this is one of those areas where we see what's developed in racing also move over to the passenger car. Oh, exactly. There, there's so many cars available nowadays from uh, Ferrari to Porsche to a variety of vehicles that have this shift technology. BMW actually has a very good system. Again, a little confidence tap on the brake pedal just to make sure it's not down too low. And you say a confidence tap, that's really just helping to settle the car. Well, what actually happens in the race is the brake pads wear of course, the fluid is going down in the master cylinder through the lines, taking up the space that used to be occupied by brake pads. So the pedal gets closer to the floor. Well, if you pump the pedal once or twice, there, like